friends, and today I'm going to teach you how to divide fractions. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and click the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga coming na mga videos. But first of all, uh, shout out muna sa ating division superintendent na napula po City, si Dr. Uh, Wilfred Abungalos at sa kanyang assistant superintendent kay uh, Dr. Marcia Dignos at kay Ma'am Marigold Humawas Cardiente at kay Attorney Rico Amores. Thank you, Attorney, for visiting our school uh, last Tuesday. Okay, let's start. How to divide fractions? So, example number one. Two-thirds divided by four over two. So, in dividing fractions, there are two ways. First, okay, yung una, okay, the second fraction is this. So, you will invert the second fraction. So, in this 4 over 2, gawin mong 2 over 4. So, invert. Invert the uh, numerator and the denominator. And, you will proceed by changing the sign to uh, multiplication sign. So, in this na division sign, change mo into multiplication and proceed to multiplication. So, 2 times 2 equals 4. Then, 3 times 4 equals 12. So, this is not yet the final answer because 4 over 12, this can be reduced to lowest term. So, ang kanilang greatest common factor is 4. So, they can be divided by 4. So, 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Then, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So, the final answer is 1 third. So, ito yung unang paraan. So, ang second uh, way is by cross multiplying so two thirds uh, dito sa taas, huh? divided by four over two so how to cross multiply so ito at saka ito yung partner at this one and this one so cross multiply so ito yung una so two times two is four then three times four three times four is twelve so they have the same result no so final answer I 1 over 3 or 1 third. So, mas madali yung cross multiplication for in, in my uh, opinion. Okay, sample number 2. 4 fifths divided by 6 over 3. Let's try the first step. So, the inversion of the second fraction. 4 fifths divided by, so invert natin to, so going 3 over 6. And the next step, if you remember, Change the fraction sign, uh, no, change the division sign into multiplication sign. And proceed to multiplication. So, 4 times 3 is 12. Then, 5 times 6 is 30. So, 12 over 30. This is not yet the final answer because 12 and 30, Meros Langrake is common factor which is 6. So, they can be divided by 6. So, 12 divided by 6 is uh, 2. Then, 30 divided by 6 equals 5. So, the final answer is 2 fifth or 2 over 5. Let's try now the cross multiplication. So, 4 fifth divided by 6 over 3. So, cross multiply. So, ito yung first partner. 4 times 3 is 12. Then, second partner is 6 times 5 is 30. So, as you can see, the same result. So, the final answer here is same, 2 over 5. Example number 3. 5 sevenths divided by 4 over 2. So, if you want to solve this quickly, you can directly go to cross multiplication. So cross multiply na lang directly. So 5 times 2 is 10. Then 4 times 7 is 28. So 10 over 28. Still, this is not the final answer because 10 and 28, my greatest common factor sila which is 2. So they can be divided by number 2. So, 10 divided by 2 equals 5 and 28 divided by 2 equals 14. 
So the final answer here is 5 over 14. Okay, example number 4. 6 eighths divided by 5 over 5. It's solved by using the cross multiplication technique. So 6 times 5 equals 13. Then 5 times 8 equals 40. So 30 over 40. This is not yet the final answer because 30 and 40 has the greatest common factor of 10. So they can be divided by 10. So let's try to divide. 30 divided by 10 equals 3. Then 40 divided by 10 equals 4. So the final answer here is 3 fourths. Example number 5. 6 over 7 divided by 5 fourths. Again, let's use the cross multiplication technique. 6 times 4 is 24. Then 5 times 7 is 35. So this is the final answer because 24 over 35 cannot be reduced to lowest terms. So hanggang dito na lang muna tayo mga bata. So I hope you had learned another lesson from my math tutorial today. And please do subscribe the channel and click the notification bell and paalam sa inyo lahat.